So our next topic will be moment of a force about an axis. So before you watch this video, make sure that you already have a background for moment of a force about a point. So the tendency of a force to rotate about a body about an axis is called the moment of a force about an axis. So basically, the moment of a force about an axis, which is referred to as the moment axis, is easier to understand if we think of it as the moment of a force about a point on the axis. So as you can remember from our previous topic, uh, moment of a force about a point, which is say point O, so it is easy to understand moment of a force about an axis if we think that this point O is on the axis, which is axis AB in this figure that we are going to tackle about. So from the given figure, the moment of F about axis AB, which is denoted as MAB, which is in scalar form or magnitude, is the orthogonal component of MO along the axis AB. So if you can remember our topic of orthogonal component in dot product, if this is vector B and this is vector C, then... If this is theta, so we know that this is B cos theta. Uh, we note or we take note that B cos theta here is equals to B dot lambda C. So take note that this B right here is the moment of the force about point O and lambda C is the unit vector of the axis that is directed uh, in the moment axis or from the dot product is the direction of vector C. So, relating it to our previous topic about dot product, we can say that MAB is equals to uh, the dot product of the moment of a force about point O dot the unit vector which is directed from axis AB. Then, substituting the formula of the moment of a force about a point which is, we know that it is the, the cross product of the position vector R and the force vector F in the figure so moment of the force about an axis is defined by the formula of r cross f dot lambda which is from our previous lecture about scalar triple product so r there is the position vector from point o to any point on the line of action then f is the force vector then lambda is the unit vector of the axis uh, axis of the axis that we are going to take moment about. So the following concepts will guide us in calculating the moment of a force about an axis. So the first one is that MAB is the magnitude, meaning it is in scalar form because we will perform the scalar triple product, which is this one. Then is the moment of or is the magnitude of the moment of force F about axis AB. Then MO, which is in vector form, represents the moment of the force of F about point O from our previous topic, where point O is not the moment center in this case, point O is any point on axis AB. So axis AB is the axis of interest, where point O is any point, meaning this is not the only possible location of point O. We can choose any location here of point O along the axis AB. So we have infinite amount of uh, possible locations of point O. Then unit vector lambda is the unit vector directed from axis AB, uh, which is directed from point A to point B, which is uh, the axis of interest then this one right here is important thing position vector r is drawn from any point on the moment axis which is point o and in this case th this has a infinite amount of points then we have uh, to any point on the line of action of this force which means we can have many possible values of r since there is an indefinite amount or numbers of points on the moment axis as well as in the line of action of the force. So remember this 
position vector r is directed from any point in this axis uh, to any point on the line of action of the force. So meaning, uh, we can have, if we choose this as point O, and we can choose this, let's say, this, let's call this point A. If we choose this as point A, uh, we can have this position vector r. We can also choose this as our position vector r. As long as the starting point is any point on axis AB, and the next point where we will get the position vector is any point on the line of action of the force. So we can have any uh, possible combinations of position vector R. A point on the axis AB to any point on the line of action of the force. So the, uh, the sense of magnitude of AB is determined by the direction of axis AB. So by using the right hand rule, if we uh, if we point our thumb right here, so the curling of the fingers is in this direction. So the answer or the sense of the moment about axis AB is positive. Uh, if we interchange the axis, the direction will also interchange because if we point our thumb here, so this is the unit vector of AB, then the positive or the curling of the fingers will be in this direction. For this example, so using the given figure, so the moment of force F about each of the coordinate axes MX, MY, and MZ, so determine that value using the scalar method. Uh, letter B, find the moment of F about point O using the vector method, uh, which is... Uh, R cross F because moment of a force about a point that is moment of a force about a point the moment of F about axis CE so that is R cross F dot lambda then we have expressed the moment of F about axis CE in vector form so this one right here is in scalar form you need to express that into vector form so Point, uh, problem A and problem B here is supposed to be uh, moment of a force about a point, but uh, the concept of moment of a force about a point in scalar method, which is in three-dimensional system, can be solved using moment of a force about an axis, where the axis of interest is the coordinate axis. So we have here in the figure, we have a force directed from point A to point B, which is equals to 195 kilonewtons. So that is the... Force. If we express that in vector form, we have 195 uh, times we have uh, 3i plus, uh, plus 12j and minus 4k uh, square root of 3 squared plus 12 squared plus 4 squared. So the answer for that is equals to 45i plus 180k. And we have minus 60, so we say J, and minus 60K kilonewtons. So these three forces right here, uh, 45, which is positive in the x-axis. Then we have 180, positive for the y-axis, and negative 60 or 60 kilonewtons downwards. Opposing the z-axis is the components of the 195 pound force, uh, 195 kilonewton force along the coordinate axis so in the problem it is already given but i just showed you how to uh, calculate the uh, components of force vector f along the coordinate axis so it is here given in the solution which is already given in the figure so next is let's have a scalar method calculation of the moment of the force about each of the coordinate axis. So we will verify that answer using the moment of a force about point O because point O is where the three axes intersects. So to determine the moments about the coordinate axis by scalar method, we need to project the plane that is perpendicular to the axis of interest. So, for example, if we are interested in the moment of a force about axis x-axis, 
Then we have to project the plane, the, the plane that is being uh, described by axis Y and axis Z, which is plane YZ. So also the same for other axes. If we have moment about Y axis, then we need to have the plane XZ. Then for moment about Z axis, then we have we need to have the plane about ax, uh, plane described by x y six axis x and y axis. So, for example, in the figure below, to determine the moment of f about the x axis, we need to project the y z plane. So that is, this is how we project the y z plane. So as you can see, we have here the x axis in this point perpendicular to the screen, which is this one. Uh, this is the plane, yz plane, which is this one. So, uh, as you can see, x-axis is, uh, if you look at the yz plane, is considered a point because uh, we cannot see the three-dimensional figure di there because it is drawn in two-dimensional or in the yz plane. So, note that the 45 kilonewton force has no moment effect, which is uh, the force right here, uh, which is, like, like this one, so this is x-axis, this is the 45 kilonewton force, but we cannot see the 45 kilonewton force because it is parallel also to the x-axis, so it will look like a point in the yz plane. So, if the force is parallel to an axis, there, shall ne there is no moment effect of that particular force on that axis since they are parallel to each other. So, you cannot rotate an axis if the force that is applied to that axis is perfect, uh, parallel to it. So will, it will not provide a rotational effect. 60 kN on the other hand is passing through the x-axis. So this is the x-axis right here. And it is passing through the x-axis at point O, which is, as you can see here in the two-dimensional figure. So therefore, there will be no uh, moment effect in that case. So there are two possibilities that there is no moment effect on an axis. The first one, if the force is parallel to the axis, uh, which is the same in the scenario of the 45 kilonewton force and the x-axis, and if a force is passing through the axis, which is the same to the 60 kilonewton force and passing through the x-axis. So in this case, the only force left is the 180 kilonewton uh, force, which is having a moment arm of 4 meters. So, as you can see, in the calculation, we use a negative value because if we use the right-hand rule, uh, we shall place the thumb in the direction of the x-axis. But as you can see, this is the positive direction. 180 kN is opposing this right-hand rule. Uh, the direction of the 180 kN moment, which is 180 times 4, is in this direction which is equal to 720 kilonewton meter so the answer is negative 720 kilonewton meters so repeating the same process for moment of y uh, we project the xz plane so so this one right here so moment y as you can see uh, this is the y axis this is y-axis right here. So we need to project this plane. So what will you, will you see is the 45 kilonewton force and the 60 kilonewton force. Then 180 will not be seen. It will only seen as a point because it is parallel to the y-axis. So again, 180 is not included because it is parallel to the y-axis. We cannot also include 60 kilonewton because it is passing through the y axis or intersecting the y axis so what what's left is the 45 kilonewton force which is by using the right hand rule this is the direction of the thumb and the fingers uh, we can see that the the direction of the rotation of the 45 kilonewton force about the point o on the y axis is uh, the same with the right hand rule so, meaning the direction will be positive. Uh, and the answer will be 45 times 4 because this is 
4 meters. Right here, 45 times 4 meters. So, the answer will be 180 kilonewton meter positive. So, for axis Z, the moment will be 0. So, how come? Because if we project the X and Y plane, so this point right here is point O and uh, Z axis, which is perpendicular to this point. So what you will see is we have a 45 kilonewton force and a 180 kilonewton force. So the two forces are intersecting at this point which is along the Z axis and 60 kilonewton is directed uh, parallel to the Z axis. So therefore, there will be no moment effect along the Z axis because the two forces 45 and 180 is intersecting the Z axis. And 60 kilonewton is parallel to the 60 ax six to the z axis. Another thing you need to remember is that F, the force F, which is the 195 kilonewton force, is intersecting the z axis. So therefore, you don't need to check the components if there are moment effect. So automatically, if the force itself, which is the 195 kilonewton, is passing through an axis. Therefore, there will be no moment effect in that particular axis. So, the answer is negative 720 kilonewton meter for X, uh, 180 kilonewton meter for Y, and 0 for Z. So, we will verify this one using the vector approach. So, in vector appro approach, we need to have a uh, position vector R. So, we have two possible position vectors R right here, which is this one and this one. So we will use ROA which is equals to 4K. If you want to check, you can try also ROB which is equal to uh, 3I plus 12J meters. So you will replace this one as 3, 12 and this one right here is 0. So you will get the same answer with this one. So if we try 0, 0, 004, which is the position vector r right here, uh, 4k. So uh, using the determinants, so if we multiply this one, this is 0. This one right here is 4 times 45 is uh, 180j, which is this one. Then we have here 0, then minus... This one is 0 because we have 45 times 0. Then minus uh, 180 times 4 times i is negative 720i. Then this one right here is 0. So the answer is negative 720i plus 180j. So as you can see, this one right here is mx, this one right here is my, and mz is 0. So mx is negative 720 and my is 180. So that is still the same. So the answer is negative 720i plus 180j kilonewton meter. So comparing the answers from B to A, we verify that MO is equals to MXI plus MYJ plus MZK. So because there is no MZ, so that is the answer. Next is calculate the moment of the force about axis CE. So this one right here is, uh, we will denote axis CE as the unit vector, let's say, let's use lambda CE. So as you can see, lambda CE, uh, we have here, to calculate lambda CE, we have the position vector from R to R from point C to E, then its magnitude. So we have here, uh, negative 3i, then we have uh, 2j, then we have negative 4k. So we have 3i, 2j, negative 4k. That, that is the position vector directed from point C to E. And divided by its magnitude, which is square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared, so we will get the answer of this one. So after doing that, we need to uh, 
uh, we need to have the moment about axis C which is given by the formula R cross F dot lambda. So lambda here is this one which is the axis of interest which is axis C. E. F is this one. So in this case F is 45I uh, plus 180J minus 60K kilo newtons. Uh, the question is what we will going to use with uh, lambda or position vector r. What is position vector r? Uh, remember, position vector r is from point of axis to any point on the line of action line of action of the force. So as you can see, as you can remember, we have unlimited or indefinite uh, values that can be used in position vector R. As you can see, we have here the axis CE, and we have here the force FB. So remember that R right here can be any point in this axis to any point in this line of action. So we can use this one as our R. We can use this one right here as an R. We can use this one right here as position vector R. So we can use for easier uh, easier position vector R, we can use this one because this point right here is along the axis and this point right here is along the force. So we can use this as the position vector R. So RCB. So RCB here is equals to negative 4K meters. So next is to establish position vector R which is directed from any point on the moment axis to any point on the line of actions. So these are the possible values of R. So I suggest you try solving the same problem using these three uh, other position vector R then you can check if we come up with the same answer because note that even if you use any of the position vectors indicated it will come up with the same answer so in this example we will use negative 4k meters so for r we have 0 0 and negative 4 because we, we have here uh, next is for F, we have 45, 180, and negative 60, which is this one. Then we have the unit vector is lambda C, which is this one. So you put it here, then calculate the uh, determinants. Then we have uh, 0 times 180 times negative 0 0.7428, we will have 0. Then we have 0 times negative 60 times negative 0.5571, we have 0. Negative 4 times 45 times 0.3714, we have negative 66.852. Then minus negative 0.5571 times 180 times negative 4, we have 401.112. Then we have this one, this one, and this one. We have 0, so the answer is 0. Then this one multiplied by 45 and 0, then we have 0. So calculating, we have an answer of negative, negative 468. So take note in the sense or direction of the neg negative 468 uh, kilonewton kilo meter moment about axis C E. As you can see, we have here the direction of uh, the axis CE, which is this is the unit vector lambda. If we use the right-hand rule, uh, the moment effect that is positive in this axis should be in this direction. Since we get a negative value, which is this one, therefore the moment about axis CE is opposite in this direction. So therefore the answer will be like this one because it is opposing to the rotational effect of axis CE.
Then for answer for letter D, uh, we want we want to have a vector form of this uh, moment about axis CE. So to get that, we just multiply, use the formula, uh, vector form of moment CE is equals to its magnitude times the unit vector. So we already have uh, the unit vector, which is this one. Then we also have the magnitude, which is this one. So we just need to multiply the two functions. Then we have this as your final answer in vector form. So what will happen is this. If this is the moment in, two, in 3D, so the components is this one. We have this for the x. And we have for y and we have for z. So x is positive, y is negative, z is positive. So positive, negative, and we have positive. So this is the this is the moment C E in vector form. This is the x component the y component and z component x y z component is this one so that's how you calculate moment of a force about an axis so let us have a practice problem to check what you have learned in this lesson so we have here our first uh, like uh, problem which is moment of a force about a point So the answer to this problem is So for our next problem we have a three dimensional force system then we have here the moment of a force about a point and moment of a force about an axis So the answer to this problem is So thank you for listening to this lecture video. I hope you learned something. Then don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos to come.